three, two, one. All right, welcome back to another uh, episode of Can of Worms. It is all four of us tonight. Uh, I am Brian, and I am here tonight with Cedric. Yo. Nick. Hello. Chris. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, Nick's been taken over by a robot. Man, Chris Hello. has been spending time in the 50s. Uh, you want to yes. relax on him a little. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, again, thank you to our subscribers and um, welcome to anybody who's new. Uh, we are going to be taking a look at uh, the story with uh, China's new, more restrictive ban on online gaming for <clears throat> any children under the age of 18, it looks like. Uh, if you so, have any comments on the story, feel free to leave them uh, for us below. And then uh, before Before you get too deep into it, I would like to say that they've always been under restrictions since 2019. Yeah. Actually, prior to that, but this is an edit to the 2019 version of the restrictions, which are already pretty steep. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Now, do you have any notes for the actual 2019 restrictions? The only thing I have here uh, is essentially that players back then, under the age of 18 again, are limited to no more than 90 minutes of gaming on weekdays. Uh, and three hours a day on the weekend. So that was the 2019 limit, and then yeah. it just got super strict yeah. now. Like, yeah. basically so, worthless to play yeah, games they, in China. They they basically eliminated Monday through Friday, or maybe it was Monday through Thursday entirely with these new regulations. Yeah, so and now Monday through you Thursday, only, you can't play at all. And now you can only get one hour so you can only get 60 minutes per weekend day yes yeah. friday saturday sundays and holiday evenings or events that is yes. 60 minutes per day dude okay so not only can they only have one kid but that kid's gonna be fucking miserable oh no they can have two yeah. now so they can be miserable oh. in unison together <laughs> with each other yeah it can be a binary relationship oh wow misery. of misery What's funny, is, so back in 2019, when those regulations got put into place, uh, Tencent, which is the biggest video game company in the world now, um, their stock prices dipped dramatically. And actually, Monday, when this became new law, it dipped even further again. Because it was like, in 2019, they took a massive hit because of this, and now they're taking another, maybe even bigger hit because of this. And it's pretty interesting. I mean, dude, the, another thing, they're saying that parents have asked for this, uh, that parents yeah. have demanded these further restrictions. Yeah. Um, that seems like a crock of shit. But I mean, I could be, you know, I'm sure well, there's some. I, one of the things that I was researching when I sent you this article, and I don't know how much of this is true because we're talking about China. Um, uh, not even being pessimistic about it. Like, we genuinely won't know how much is genuinely true. Um, genuinely. But from articles I was reading... Huh? Genuinely. Yeah. No. <laughs> sick, man. Sorry. What, what did I say? <laughs> I said genuinely. I know. Yeah. yeah. I'm genuinely fucking un... <laughs> I can't believe how much what? I derailed shit by doing that. I'm so sorry. Anyways, so what these interviews with Chinese parents and residents have uh, shown uh -huh. is they asked for this and the way that many Chinese residents and parents look at it is the government providing support for individual families by doing this and taking away what has been referred to as um, a spiritual opioid. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, yeah. That, that was used in more than one interview that I read That online. sounds like a talking point that was written by somebody in the government. Yeah. Uh, especially yeah, like the, that. on an opioid. But, but that's kind of exactly what I mean with, like, um, I don't know how much of these are true and how many are, you know, one news outlet stealing from another, which is something else entirely. So it's hard to say, but there is, air quotes, evidence of families who are in support of this and want more oh i lost part of the the notes that i had um 
So one thing that uh, was ridiculous, I'm looking at my notes, China's Cyber Today's administration on Friday banned ranking celebrities by popularity. Yeah, it, it's legitimately getting insane how much they're censoring. I mean, just in Path of Exile, they censored um, a boss kill. Like, you can see the loot, but, like, there's a, <laughs> there's a black box around the dead body of the dolls. Oh my God. Like, oh more. It's just getting ridiculous at this point. It's It's... It's comical. It was comical. It was comical, and now it's yeah, pissing. It's pissing me off. Not that it matters. Not that they care that it's pissing me off. But it's just that's what the fuck do you gain from this? Well, I think the control. Yeah, Yeah. it's all about control. (laughs) I mean, we're talking about a communist country. But I think the really interesting thing, and why I think it's worth talking about in terms of video games, is the actual effect that. Uh, China has on the video game industry oh, is insane nice. because it well ever since 2015 they've been the leading force in video game companies revenues uh, they take up 25% of the US's uh, revenue in the video game industry alone and worldwide it was 10% yeah. Like, they are 10% global sales of all video games in the world, which is insane. Yeah, but what and is the ten- U.S.? The U.S., I'm below 10%. Was it really? Much below. Print- it's, I think it's like 5 or 6. I thought we were actually still doing okay. I mean, we're I was going to say, hold on, if they take 10% and globally, like, what's taking the other 90%? <laughs> you know I what I mean? I thought we were something like 25 every, I mean, every, every other country oh, yeah. in the world, 10% of global sales is a shit ton. I'm not, I'm not doubling yeah. 10%, but that's there's still a lot of that pie left. That's, this is also 2017 numbers. It, it was hard to find anything newer than 2019 numbers, and even those were spe- speculatory. True. Um, the the big thing is so I mentioned Tencent is the biggest video game um, conglomerate in the world currently, yeah. and they have been for a while. Forty six percent of Tencent games overall revenue is China. Well, yeah, I mean, but that was to be expected, and you know the thing is, even in that article, they were saying that. Um, the players under 16 only accounted for something like 2.6, yeah, 2.6% of its gross receipts for Chinese yeah. gaming. So you look at that and then you look at the, the fact that, um, all right, so apparently I'm just, and I'm going verbatim here from the article in the Times, uh, online gaming has been one of the most vibrant and profitable, uh, profitable sectors of China's internet industry generating billions in revenue from players who pay to take part in online quests, wars, and adventures. But there have been signs of growing official pressure for the companies to step more strictly in line with demands for cultural conformity from Xi Jinping's chi- or Xi Jinping, China's leader. So you yeah. take a look at that, yeah. and it becomes pretty apparent why these rules are getting more restrictive. Well, yeah. and I think I think their thought pattern is that these are going to flow over to the West. And so they're going to have some kind of foothold or control. What I can tell you is that we're going to... I don't want to make it like that. Yeah, you they're don't want to make it an out, out standoff. But... And a big middle finger to your <laughs> face. Because that's not stopping the gaming train over in the West or Europe. I guarantee you that. What's going to happen is they're going to realize this was a really bad idea for their revenue for their bottom line, and it's it'll probably get walked back some. It may not get walked back completely, but I do think that these restrictions will probably be rolled back to their three-hour restriction, simply because, it, again, like Nick said, like you, you can't just do that to a service that's providing you so much money. And then to yeah. think that you're going to probably end up walking those same restrictions into the West... You're just going to tank yourselves. Nobody's going to give a fuck. People are already upset with Eastern style games right now because they're so... I hate using the word predatory because at the end of the day, this it kind of goes hand in hand. You're, if you're an adult consuming video games, then you have the decision. You have the power to make decisions. And if you make poor decisions, then it shouldn't automatically be said you made a poor decision because of predatory acts. But they can be seen predatory to kids. So oh, it's sure. they're already being frowned upon 
like yeah. their games and they're already losing steam over here because of their predatory tactics. So if you add predatory tactics in and then limit the amount of gameplay that people are able to consume over here, again, I don't know if anybody's told them, but uh, we kind of like our freedom. <laughs> um, so I just don't see this working out for them. If they're thinking on a larger scale, if their plan is to, is to combat the gaming opioid, you know, well, around the world and grab a footholding of control somewhere. It's just so not going to work. Some of the things that I read online, and actually I read deeper into the original, um, I guess you can say the skeleton that was uh, formed for this regulation back in 2019. What they are attempting to do, uh, and again, these are regulations for 18 and under, um, or below 18 it's for minors is what it is so what they're attempting to do and what these original regulations were also meant to do is they're trying to basically make sure they're focusing on family building and education and things like that and there is this is getting into more things that I can't necessarily prove and I can't prove the validity of because it's coming out of China. Um, but there is really data to prove that it has been successful. No, but it's the, about the eliminating reason... the influence of Western culture as well. Like you have to remember it's for yeah. people under 18. Well, uh, well, it, 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 we're we're talking about a communist culture as well, and, and the reason why I keep on saying like I can't actually say how you know valid some of these numbers are is because they've been known to hide data, especially if it's oh make it data. up completely. Yeah, it it, it just completely. again data manipulation and and most of the, oh, not most of the time some data is in the eye of the beholder and that's what you always have to understand when you're when you're yeah. talking about data not data isn't just the end-all be-all right yeah. so i'm sure when they did a study of a hundred people that you know had no interest in video games to begin with you know <laughs> that didn't play more than an hour a week, you know or three hours a week total yeah they probably had a strong family core value but here's what's gonna happen Here's what actual data tells us. Actual data tells us that when we strictly prohibit people to having interactions with certain type of media or 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 Anything, um, really. content or yeah, like you know, drugs, whatever the case is, when they get of an age where they're able to do that, oh, they do it in full force. So what they're doing is actually going to have for a lot of people the opposite effect when you go from not being able to make the decision for yourself to be able to make the decision for yourself and there not being a restriction there cold turkey and there not being a balance what happens is a lot of people go over the scale so what's happening is they're creating a situation to where when you turn 18 and you're able to game for more than one hour you know a day you're in a game for 23 hours a day because no one can tell you not to <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're saying you, like a, you, you, uh, haven't, you haven't built up uh, you haven't built up what 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 everyone else has which is understanding your limits restrictions and being able to by yourself say okay it's time to stop instead you now have this newfound to them freedom and no one's there to tell you what to do and there's one of two things that happen usually you overindulge because you've never had that freedom before or you don't know how to take that freedom and either you just completely avoid it because it's too it's too difficult for you it's too much it's too hard of a decision of whether or not you should play this game l longer than an hour so then you just don't do it because it's that that decision is too big for you so not only are you fucking with people's ability to make proper decisions for and, and set proper boundaries and guidelines for their entertainment life but you're causing, you're going to cause people to be addicted to that kind of content because they, they weren't able to find that balance earlier in life. Ooh, and it's the same I, thing yeah. with drugs. That's a yeah, really so, good point. I want to know what people, if, if, you know, people watching, I would yeah. love to know what their thoughts are on that. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and, I was and, thinking it, but Cedric, you said it much more wonderfully than I it, could. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> much, much better than I was it's, trying to. And it's so... It's very hard to speak about it in a non-biased manner because we're talking about a communist country and, like, 
Well, just uh, the, of the course, law uh, itself. Uh, like, the law itself, as they have published it, without any other fact or evidence there, is really kind of just... It's anathema to really, I think, people, at least in the U.S., because we think you're going to... Well, I think it would be anywhere. I think it'd be anywhere. Like, you can compare that level of restriction to almost any country that isn't communist. Like, even, you know, let's say, you know, let's Mexico, Europe, Canada, uh, fucking Brazil, or I just said continents and everything. But it's anywhere that isn't a communist country, you have less control, obviously from the regulation standpoint and when they have the ability to make laws like this i don't think it really matters what country or anything or where you are uh that's probably not going to line up to the ideology of wherever you come from because most people in the world don't live in a regime like that it's not but i do think it's worth it's worth comparing it to just um, just the U.S. for a second, and and, and I'm gonna get political. Sure. It's my my. <laughs> oh, oh no! Now we get political. You know, we're, we're, we're about China, get, and now we get political. Oh, yeah, we're, we're about to get real political. This video, it's all right. It, it's plenty of people out there that think that our government is being too restrictive today. That we're 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 setting out you know these rules, regulations, guidelines, you know laws that are impeding on our you know our amendments, our rights, our given freedom. You haven't seen that. I'm, and I'm talking to you all. You haven't seen that yet. Because even whether you like video games or not, just take this rule, take this law that China's put into place, and then substitute your favorite hobby into it. That's how, that's yeah. how restrictive a government can be. That's how restrictive... A, a communistic government, which is what people think we're heading towards, can be. Like, oh, yeah. We're nowhere near that. When people nope. scream socialism, yeah, it's like you have no idea. We're, we're nowhere near that. Be, be, just for a moment, be thankful. Because again, I get it. This is only, you know, this is a, a in the grand scheme of things, this is a small group of people, and not, a, not it's actually not a small group of people, but it's it's considered a small group of people, uh, and, and it's kids, and good for them because you don't you know you don't want your kids in front of the screen all day long. However you may feel about it, with there, I don't care if you think this is going to be overall good for their health, well being, or whatnot. Just the way the law is set up, they could spend this however they want for anything that they want. The fact that the law is allowed to exist here. It yeah. should just tell you everything. It's a really so, yes, it's about list. video games, and you may not like video games. You know, I don't know why you'd be watching our channel if you don't, but uh, <laughs> you're clearly backwards. This right? is your yeah. first video, apparently. You, you may think there needs to be some kind of regulations on video games for, for children 18 and under, and, that, and that's fine. But here's the difference. If you have kids in the U.S., you get to set and make those restrictions and enforce them yourself and, and provide punishment. And that allows a child to learn boundaries. And okay? That's fine. And it's your child. The government's not telling you to do these things. You're not subject to a fine or imprisonment or anything like that if you don't do these things. Mm -hmm. You're doing what you feel like is best for your child, whether it is or it isn't. I can't say it's your child. I really don't care what you do with your child. Uh, take that back. I do care what you do with your child. <laughs> In terms of this, I don't care what you do with your child. Right? Right. But you have the freedom to make the decision. Well, and you also need to have the backbone. The to tell freedom's them. been taken away from them. Yeah. So you know, let's think about it next time you're we're, we're complaining about certain things. Fair enough. Damn. Well, beautifully fucking illustrated. Right yeah, there. I mean, I don't think I'm going to really make a much better point. I'm probably going to say the same thing over and over again if I, you know continue on but i think especially as the only father really in the group you probably have the last word there um, yeah. but i think that might be it for us on uh, on china's new rule actually uh, i have a quick i have a quick addendum oh, okay. to what i said about uh where china currently sits in global video games revenue oh. um and this is the best numbers that i could find from crunching in a few different directions so last year, it looks like the total revenue of video games worldwide across the video game industry was 
approximately 179.7 billion dollars holy shit it's and uh 23% ish of that revenue was from china and then let me see what the percentage was from the us really quickly yeah, for sure uh, That's the mobile market so us is i did that backwards I'm really bad at math, so let me put in this one more time. About twenty percent. Yeah, okay. uh, that's what I was, and that was what I was getting at. Like the the twenty percent is massive, right? But there had to be another huge chunk because after that, it drops down significantly, like you said, across the other countries. Yeah, the, but the we third, are the two leading. Yeah, third and place is Japan. The that's the thing. They're they're at like, fit, like seventeen percent or something like that. Yeah, no, third 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 place is Japan at nine percent. Oof. But you think about the most lucrative market is the mobile market right now. And China is by far the most addicted to the mobile game yeah. market. It's because so, you can't buy a video game console in most cities in China. Well, oh, is that... Does yes. that actually have something to do with it? Yes. Oh, you're you can actually buy, not allowed you to You can buy, buy a phone. You can't buy a PlayStation in most cities. <laughs> oh, there are actual restrictions on them owning the console itself? Not owning the console, but just getting getting stock. getting oh. it imported is a nightmare. Yeah, it's it's not fun. But anyone can get a phone. Oh, I ended this video early. Oops. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no. You know what? Actually, let's do a video, maybe um, an update to this one uh, soon. Because I, what I want to do is I want to do a separate one, maybe, and people can let us know in the comments if they think it's a good idea or a bad idea. I'd like to find out how difficult it is to get some of these things in China. Why are they? Uh, so, you know, I don't want to say addicted to the mobile market, but why is that the dominant force in that, that market? Like, overwhelmingly so. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what... Uh... That, that's why it, it's a lot of gotcha games, and it's easily accessible. And I think that's probably what they're trying to shut down. Because it really, like I said, they're actually... What they're they should have done attention. is they should have put a ban or restrictions on gotcha games because the problem isn't that mm -hmm. kids are addicted to gaming they're addicted to gambling actually oh. and we're gonna just be keeping a bean with you yeah. there are so <laughs> many gotcha games out there under the guise of their favorite fantasy like there's shit tons of final fantasy gotcha games shit tons of fucking um fuck, what's the name of it to be to be the game to be based off to uh not be not based off of, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, near, near. Uh, near. There's tons of yeah. near gotcha games. <laughs> there's tons of just. There's so many gotcha games on the market, and you wouldn't believe like how profitable they actually are and still are. And I mean, Genshin Impact. Look, look no further than Genshin Impact. And don't yeah. get me wrong, I love me some good Genshin Impact. It was a lot of fun, but it's still alive and it's still making a lot of money. And its first day, its first day revenue. Don't well, I think that. Fate Grand Order is still like, one of the biggest. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's been out for years. Yeah. <sighs> but but Genshin's first day revenue, get it? Look it up. It's it's ridiculous. Any game would fucking give their left nut to have their first day <laughs> revenue that they had. It's not a joke. They made their money back, and then I think a little on first day. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, uh, day one made at least at least twelve they broke even million day. dollars. Yeah, at, 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 they yeah. well then they did more than break even because that game was like uh, I think they said it was like a Genshin two million plus dollar game. That's Genshin it. Impact is the single fastest game to reach one billion dollars in revenue. Facts. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's not the problem. The gaming isn't the problem. It's the it's it's the, the gotcha games. scene. Yeah, the like the be. Because of the regulations that they're under, it's so much easier and accessible to get into a game like that, though. If you only have 90 minutes and now 60 on the weekends, like... Well, and think about it. Those games are so much more addictive than actual video games. Because none of those are actual video games. They're really but they're more accessible. They're yeah. more accessible in that... Not even just that market. If you only have... So, uh, you know, 2009, let's just look at 2019 to now. You only have 90 minutes. You might as well throw a little one arm bandit onto the side of your cell phone. It's like just turn yeah. it into a slot machine. Be like, yeah. Yeah. That's all those games are. 
buy your power. Well, getting that. Well, the problem is now they're they're not. They are. No. They are <laughs> full like, game. Impact and it's an actual game. That's the problem. That's, yeah. scary, that's the scariest thing when you look at it like that, and it's an actual game. And so they're limiting your time, and you have to like spend these resources because they go. They'll come back and they'll cap. Yeah. They they're legitimately like they're breeding the addiction because what's that child going to do after his one hour of gameplay? You think he, that's still going to allow him to focus on studying? No, he's going to focus on what the fuck he's going to do in his <laughs> one hour of gameplay. Work, he only right. has 60 minutes. What the fuck am I going to do? He's going to spend those three hours a night formulating the best way to spend his the hour. The best week. way to get XP, the best way to, yeah, like the max fuck? this shit. <laughs> oh no, that was terrible. I gotta cut that part out because it's funny, but that could definitely be considered bad. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna end it there so I can remember to edit this. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for joining us, though. Uh, you know, we'll take a look at um, maybe doing a video in the future on on China and why some of these video games work the way they do and how it affects the rest of the world. Anyway, for us, that's going to be it, and we will see you maybe this weekend for another video. Have a good one. Good, actually. Good luck. All right. With what? <laughs> yeah. With life. You're going to die. With life. Good luck with life. Uh, yeah. Get rocked, that game. <laughs> Only got 60 minutes.